Hi guys, it's me, Teresa Perrin. Welcome back. I have great news for you today. Ticker F-U-B-O had quite a run. So let me tell you what seemed to trigger it and my thoughts. We're going to get straight into it regarding the Ortex, the Fintel, and so much more. So please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Remember, nothing I say is financial advice, but I think this is a banger and that it's just the beginning. So let's get started. All right, guys. Well, today was Investor's Day and it started at 2.30 p.m. for Fubo. Now, this picture was taken um, around 3.30, as you can see from the last candle. And the reason I took it was because look at exactly 2.30 what happened. See those big red bars? I think that the shorts decided to pull all their ammo and save it for the exact time that the investors day started. It was it began from 2:30 and ran till 5:30 today. And as you can see, those big red wicks that took us down, those were not normal selling and it happened very very quickly. Um, that first huge red candle was a five, it's a five minute candle. I, I trade on a five minute chart. Okay. So that was five minutes. So over 20 minutes, essentially, they took us all the way down to what took a couple of hours to achieve if you were to count them up. Right. Which seems absolutely crazy guys, but it's okay. Check it out. The stock was oversold at that point and it really needed to cool off. So no big deal. I mean, I'm just pointing it out because I think it's kind of funny how the timing was. And I'm kind of disappointed in myself that I didn't see it coming ahead of time because I know better by now. But anyways, um, interesting. I wanted to point that out to you. But I am psyched about this ticker, guys. I've been watching it for a couple weeks now and have actually had calls in it uh, for maybe a week or two. And um, they were up. And I bought more yesterday based on the investors conference information. If you follow me on Twitter, then you knew about this too, because I tweeted it out to you. And uh, let me tell you what an amazing day they had. And I don't think they're anywhere close to done. So let's start off by taking a look at the chart. Um, oops, sorry. I don't know how that got stuck in there. Guys, I pulled up the wrong one. I'm going to have to go pull that up in another feed. So we're going to start with something else. Let's start out with um, the fact that we are trending, okay? We are trending as number uh, two on Stock Twits under the trending ticker. Um, number one is Bed Bath & Beyond, and I did do a video about that, so check it out. Number three is Apron, and we've been following that, and I have a video up that I think I did yesterday on that. And number four, guys, is BlackBerry, and that's going to be my bonus ticker for you for this video because I think you guys should all keep a close watch on that. Based on the tickers that are running right now, BlackBerry hasn't started really moving. It's at around $7, and I think this is going to have a massive massive breakout to the upside and it should run to at least around ten dollars i actually bought some calls in it today knowing that it was coming and it was just pretty much flat i mean you know it was up a tiny bit but just essentially just consolidated all day um, around that seven dollar area so wasn't very exciting but guys keep that on your watch list that's my bonus to you uh, fubo is also number six under the most active tickers and as you can see bed bath and beyond is still number one guys and guess what amc is number three if you watched these tickers today it was really kind of interesting um, because amc didn't take off like the others so I don't know if it's because of what's going on with Ape and all that stuff or what, but I kept waiting for it to rocket, guys, and it just really didn't move too much. You know, it did go up a little bit, and then they pulled it back down again, so I'm not quite sure what's going on there. It only ended the day up 2.4%, which compared to these others is crazy. Look at FUPA was up 47.97% today, guys. That's just nuts. Uh, and Bed Bath & Beyond was up 33%. So it was a wild day. And I'm telling you, this is just the beginning. Um, tomorrow could be a pullback day. I don't know what's going to happen because we're getting the Fed minutes. So just be prepared for that. I'm um, going to look at it and see how things are trading. But I do have that in the back of my mind. So I want to tell you that as well. Um, guys, also on that, I just went by, but Hellbiz is a ticker that I'm keeping my eye on. That's heavily beat down in the EV 
um, category. It's it's really electric scooters um, and motility devices, you know, like bikes and things like that. So I really think that that's something everyone should have on their watch list and actually a consideration for everyone to have in their long term portfolio. Um, but also you'll notice on the watch list. Fubo is also number four and 975 people in the last hour added it to their watch list. This is updated. I'm sorry. In the last 24 hours, it's updated hourly. Um, so pretty exciting to see. Again, Bed Bath & Beyond is number one, guys. So make sure you check out my warning related to that because there's something that you all need to be aware of. Um, also, Blue Apron also made this list. So pretty exciting to see. I noticed this JCSE uh, JE clean tax. This was an after hours runner guys. I'm not quite sure what the deal is with that, but it looks like it's been beat down hard. So keep that on your, uh, watch list for tomorrow as well. Also BBIG regained training today. I'm uh, trading, excuse me today. It was halted for over a week now. So that was pretty exciting to see. And it had a massive move up of 57% guys. So pretty good day today overall. Let's see if this is the right ticker, hopefully. Okay, guys, and then one more thing. This is uh, the most active volume. Bed Bath & Beyond was number one today with 394.29 million, and Fubo was number two with 167.73 million, followed by NU, G-Box, which also took off today, and Tattoo, which you can't see because it's cut off, but that's ticker TTOO, guys. And it's like a 16, 17 cent stock. So that's something else you may want to keep your eye on. It was up higher to about 27, 28 cents. Maybe it even hit 30 earlier this week, something like that. And then fell on earnings, which is typical. So it may be due for a run up again tomorrow. So again, keep that on your watch list. Uh, let me just bring up some other information for you regarding Fubo because I'm very bullish on it. I have um, an announcement from Ortex and I'm going to get into Fintel for it. Okay, guys, five hours ago, Ortex tweeted out, Fubo TV skyrockets 35% uh, percent ahead of its 2022 investor day at 2.30 p.m. So, guys, I must have screenshot this a little bit earlier. Sorry, but uh, anyways, it is ET time today. Possible short squeeze occurring as short interest is 52.9 million shares, which is 30% of the free float. Fubo has an Ortex short score of 75.76. Guys, this is the key reason why I'm bringing this to you because I also have been targeting it as a short squeeze and I am going to show you the chart so you can see the potential that it has. All right, guys, this is the two-year chart and as you can see, Fubo has a two-year high of $62.29. Just so you're aware, the free float is $100.00. 64.81 million. The 52 week high is $35.10 and the 52 week low is $2.31. Seems kind of crazy, doesn't it? Um, this is today's chart. And as you can see, it ripped all the way up to $8.13 before it had that massive pullback. And now we're starting to uptrend again. And we continued running into the after hours, which is great news, guys. And our RSI is back around that 50%. So I think we're setting ourselves up nicely to continue this tomorrow. Let's take a look and see how many short shares are available and what Fintel says regarding the short interest. Okay, guys, according to Fintel, Fubo has a short interest of 30.68%. So it actually, for once, matches what Ortex is saying. And the short interest ratio days to cover is 3.72 days to cover. They have 54,829,468 shares short. So almost one third of the entire float. And guys, they traded 59.44% of all trades today in the dark pool. Currently, they only have 100,000 shares available to short. That's as of 7.52 p.m. The cost to borrow is only 5.73% on this. And as you can see, the dark pool average has been in the 50s to 60% range for the past several uh days. And here we go. This is the failure to delivers. It looks like it's not so much 
being shorted like it used to be. Um, so that's a good sign, guys, because we want the shorts to go long. That's how we're going to make this thing squeeze, right? We want them to rush to cover and get out of their short positions. So tomorrow, they only need to come up with 210,741 shares to cover failure to delivers, which huh, if they haven't covered them yet, they're hurting because they bought the, they didn't deliver those at $2.61. Kind of crazy. And as you can see, there's nothing in the millions are significantly high for this going forward for the next week or two. So guys, I do expect Fubo to continue on its massive uptrend. And again, it will take approximately three and a half to four days for this to squeeze once things get started. So keep this on your radar. And I'm looking forward to an exciting day tomorrow. Again, keep in mind that we have the Fed minutes coming out. So who knows what that'll do. I mean, it's nothing that we shouldn't expect. But, you know, the market will take any excuse it can to either pump or dump. So keep that in the back of your mind when trading tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching. Please make sure you check out my uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. And guys, I'm sorry if in this video I called it BlackBerry. It's like literally drilled in my head that that ticker is BlackBerry when it's Bed Bath & Beyond. So I apologize if that was done because I know I've done it on previous videos. But check out my warning on that if you are in that stock. It's very important you're aware of what's going on. And I hope you have a fabulous night. Take care.